I'm Jennifer Sness, you're watching News 24 Live. I'm joined in studio by ultra trail runner Ryan Sands. He's going to tell us about Table Mountain's fastest known time. Hello. Hey. How are you? Yeah, great. Thanks. So it's called the FKT. T, yes, it's uh, FKT is fastest known time. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a, a world trend in trail running at the moment, um, obviously. Like r with races, you kind of have to be there on that day and you can only like run it when the race is on. Exactly. With an FKT, someone goes out and sets a specific time for a route and then you can run that any time you want. And it's very cool that you can set your own time and then go back a few days and try and better it uh, with whereas with a race, you can only do it once a year. When were you first introduced to uh, FKTs? Um, I think it was a, about 2011, 2012 when I, I ran the Fish River Canyon FKT and then obviously last year I did the Drakensberg Traverse which, with Rainer Kressel which was another FKT. So just going forward, um, like I'm really passionate about trail running and I want to promote uh, trail yeah. running and also try to grow the sport in Cape Town and geez, I spend, when I'm in Cape Town every day on Table Mountain training, it's, it's my second home and my back garden. So. Um, I set up an FKT on, on Table Mountain, it's called the Table Mountain Crossing, the Table Mountain FKT, where other runners can also go and um, run the route and experience what I experience on a day-to-day -day basis and just really go out and, and challenge themselves and just um, enjoy the, the, the mountain and I think we're so fortunate to have Cape Town or Table Mountain on, on our back doorstep. Now how can people find your route and experience exactly what you experienced while you were setting the FKT? Yes, um, I've set up a, a website with, with Red Bull, so if you go to um, redbull.coza forward slash FKT, uh, you can go and uh, click on, it'll go straight through to the website and all the details are on there, um, all the requirements, um, the route, um, the specific checkpoints you, you have to tag along the way. And then you basically run it with, with a GPS watch or with your cell phone, if you've got Strava on, on your cell phone. And then afterwards you upload the route and um, if you've crossed all the, all the checkpoints, your, your time gets uploaded. So it's really simple. And um, yeah, I've been really stoked to see how much interest uh, people have in or have, um, yeah, there have been loads of people running the route over, over the past few weeks. That's awesome. Now you are really fit, we know that. Yes. <laughs> do you have to be super fit to do this um, run? No, that, that's the whole thing. I've, I've specifically mm -hmm. made the route, um, it's really challenging, but it's um, only 15 to 16 kilometers, but it's still got over a thousand meters of, of elevation gain. So it's, yeah. it's a challenge, but um, I think people of all uh, fitness levels can, can run it or even hike it. Uh, for me, it's just getting people out onto the mountain. Maybe you hike 80% of, of the route your first go, and then maybe like if you run it again in a month's time, you, you run a little bit more and you just keep on progressing. It's just about getting into the mountains and experiencing that adventure that I experience on a day-to-day -day basis. What's your favorite part of running Table Mountain? She's, I think um, she says so many things yeah. you kind of put me on the spot of it, but I think <laughs> it's definitely being able to see the ocean. I think I've grown up with, with the ocean around me and, and the sea, so being able to run up on top of Table Mountain, be able to see the Atlantic Ocean on one side and Indian Ocean and just the city of Cape Town, so, so close to the mountain, kind of just makes me feel at home. Often when I'm like, say in the Drakensberg or in the Rockies or the Alps and stuff, where you, you can't see the ocean or the sea, there's just like no town or anything for miles and mm -hmm. miles and miles. It kind of, I feel like um, not, like it just feels a bit foreign to me. So I definitely yeah. feel at, at home on top of Tail Mountain. That's beautiful. That now, is. how many people have taken part in the challenge so far? Currently, I think there are about 70 people that wow. have taken, yeah, that have taken on, on, on the challenge over the past uh, few weeks. So I definitely think it will continue gaining momentum. And, and the cool thing, it's we're running a competition up until the end of August where um, one lucky, it's going to be a lucky draw prize. So it, it's not aimed at running a fast time, it's just about participation. So every time you run the route, your name goes into a lucky draw and one lucky draw a um, winner and a partner will win a trip with me to Reunion Island to come that's watch so me race exciting. Yeah, at the that's, end of the year. That's made me want to enter now. <laughs> <laughs> you can log on to the website. Yes. <laughs> now, you said it's not about the time. It's just yes. about doing the route, experiencing what you experience yes. and taking in the nature. What was your time, just so we have like a gauge of, of um, how long it, it took you? It was two hours and two minutes. So. Okay. Yeah, it, it, I think the cool thing with it, even like after I ran it, I was like, geez, I, I was just over two hours, I've got to go back and go into two hours. So mm -hmm. 
Um, currently, like I leave in a few weeks' time to go and race overseas, but I definitely I think when I get back in, in July or August, I'll definitely have a, another go and see if I can better my own time. That, that's the cool thing about yeah. it. It's about kind of racing yourself and trying to like better your, your own time or just challenge yourself. That's great. Now, what do you hope people get out of, get out of taking part in this? Yeah, I think it's just um, kind of being, being able to experience Table Mountain and, mm-hmm. and the love for adventure and just getting out outdoors and, and ex- exploring. I think it's sad to see, like even a lot of people that I know, like you live in Cape Town and they've like probably been on Table Mountain like a handful of times and they haven't even really experienced Table Mountain as kind of doing a walk at the base of, yeah. of Table Mountain. So I think we, we live in such a beautiful city. Um, I think it's important to make the most of it. All right, Ryan, tell me one last time how yes. we can find that website and load our times onto the Yeah, you go to um, redbull.coza forward slash FKT and um, all the details are on there and it's pretty simple um, or self-explanatory how to upload your times and, and the route, etc., etc. 